I am rather pleased with myself. <clears throat> the job to repair this and take it all apart was a little more extreme than I thought. Literally everything had to come out of the middle. So I had to pull out the mechanism for the feed dogs, the mechanism for the broider unit, the mechanism for the oscillating hook, all had to come out. <clears throat> but I'm pleased to say it's fixed. So, thought it would be kind of fun to demonstrate. Oops, probably good if I turn it on. Now, the light bulb is burnt out, solid law. So this is on setting one for stitch length. And that's in left needle position, so that's sewing pretty well. I'm not sure it's a bit weird. Uh, need to increase the tension a bit. Let's try that. That's a bit better. I think the zigzag is slightly engaged, so I might need to adjust that a bit. That's neither here nor there, but it definitely works. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll do center needle. You see that's really just fine. And we'll do right needle. So that's sewing very well. And we'll go back to left needle. And then we'll in introduce some of the zigzag. Zigzagging fine. And we'll increase the zigzag a bit more. And then we can increase it all the way over. So I'm very pleased with that. It's sewing beautifully. So let's remove the uh, zigzag off the other back to straight stitch. Pretty good. So we'll move this along. Sometimes I find you have to be careful of the feed, the thread feed, if you've got an independent spool. I forgot to put the uh, <coughs> extension shelf on, so I might just do that now for fun. Need to clean up my table, and I finally can, I'm pleased to say, because I can now get on to my projects, which I couldn't before. Tidy this up. And we'll demonstrate putting on the cable, which I've not done before, but I'm hoping it'll be relatively simple to achieve. So, my understanding is you just slide it on like that, and then put those legs. Oops. helps if you put them in the right place. Yeah, they need to be inside by the way it seems to work. And then you pull them out. Yep, that works. So there we have the table. So that's quite good. And now we can sew with the table. So I'm sure you'd be interested in seeing <coughs> And I found out what was wrong, oops, just some my scissors fell off. No, it's not actually that. He wanted to know what was wrong with the stitch length. It is now properly long, I'm pleased to say. And the reason for that, because of that problem, 
was in fact the feed dog timing was off and that's why there was a problem with that. So now it's quite good, it works very quickly. And we're getting good success. And I found that the belt was quite old, so I've ordered a new belt as well as a new light bulb. Because it's quite loose. And it's pretty good. It's not 100% straight, so I probably need to make a little adjustment on the mechanism. So it gives perfectly straight stitches, because it should give perfectly straight stitches. Um, but I can live with it, and I've replaced the spring with a lighter weight spring, so that the reversing mechanism works a little better. What we can do here. Just go along here and we can flip down and we will engage the embroidery mechanism or the fancy stitch mechanism. So I'll use this one, it seems to work quite well. Open the thing. Turn this to one. Okay, we should be good to go. So what we might do is zoom in a bit so you can actually see in detail. Lower that a bit. Okay, I think we've got, might adjust the lighting a wee bit because I think it's causing some problems. Okay, so off we go. Got this on the slower setting at the moment. Rather fun to enjoy, not always in a big hurry. So that's working quite well. And obviously you can increase the stitch length, which then changes the look of the pattern. make it really small then it, it uh, changes it a bit. So if we go in there, 
Oops, broke the thread. Doesn't surprise me much. I'd turned it way too small for its own good. But as you can see, it's running very well. I'm guessing everything's working perfectly. Well, mostly perfectly. Slight adjustment to be made on the zigzag, but that's a real minor adjustment. And uh, I'm pleased to say I've got a machine I'm going to enjoy sewing a lot on. It's lovely and quiet. Works very well. I'm sure it'll give me many hours of pleasure. Now you can also adjust <coughs> the uh, <coughs> rotations of the cams up here, and if you do, that changes the way the pattern looks. So that's very interesting. If you go for two, It actually sews over top of itself. That's kind of fun. If you go to three, it goes really long, so that's not quite what the look you want. So I just have to read all the settings to know how this ultimately will work. But you can do a really nice job, which is, this is the actual cam pattern that I wanted to use on the blue dress that I'm making for my friend. <clears throat> so it worked perfectly, so I'm pleased to say I should be able to do a lovely job on that for her. Get an excellent result. So I can disconnect it now, so you have to turn it to the... <clears throat> star and then do that and then you're good to go on normal stitching. Oh yes, you have to remove this camera that causes problems. And then that should put us back in normal stitching mode. As you can see, perfect. So you have to be careful of that not to forget your cams. So I've ordered a new set of cams, they've all arrived and you can see the results there. Works very well. So it's possible to get it to sew over top of itself, and that gives an interesting effect. Uh, but I'm very pleased with that. So if you elongate or shrink it, you get a really nice result. So we might do one last embroidery stitch or zigzag loops. Okay. Come along here. What we can do is. So they show, demonstrate this a lot of times, how you can manually create your own patterns by doing this. It does work, actually. So this will mimic a lot of the stitches you get on some of the standard Zinger cams, so kind of fun. And you just control how quickly and you just get good at it. And you're really good at it. So it's lovely action. And if you move it into the middle, I bet you it gives you a ball. It does. This is the ball stick. Isn't that neat? Never figured out how that worked before. So 
So there we go. We're up and running. We've got a great machine here. And thank you very much.